heart's like raised right now. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, the husband of an RN. Alright, I'll do that. Love you. He said whenever I get back that I'm going to let you stick me with a needle, but you know that's not happening. <laughs> she said, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> she knows me too well. So we met many months ago. You came in for the bite stuff. We did it. It helped you for quite a while, right? And then things kind of waxed and waned and kind of reverted back, correct? Yeah. Can you tell us the story? Yeah, so I came in about a year ago, actually almost exactly a year ago. Um, I had the, the adjustment done on my teeth and when I left I felt great for about a month or two and then slowly over time it gradually kind of went back to where it was. Not as bad as where it was before, but definitely where not where it was when I left, you know, yeah. on that, that first day. So you came back this week and we kind of reached week the bite stuff. The bite stuff wasn't that far out of whack. Yeah. But we also bonded one of your eye teeth to make that happen. And um, so you're here for us to make that more permanent with a veneer. Yes. But in the meantime, we decided, we kind of talked about it. And, and you know, even though you're under chiropractic care, I want to try some neck box. I want to see if uh, we see any kind of difference with what happens you know, blocking certain nerves for coming from the neck to the head. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, when we were doing your bite stuff, what was your ice water swish, remember? The first one was like 9, 10. And then it was real bad. It was real bad. And then after the adjustment, it went down to about a seven. Mm -hmm. And then today we did it again, one day later, and the top was at probably a nine, eight, nine, and the bottom was like six, seven. Yeah, so, so seven-ish. Seven-ish all around, yeah. So a nine, 10, down to a seven-ish all around, mm -hmm. just after the bite stuff. Yeah. So now we're gonna see what we got after the neck box stuff. Mm -hmm. So tell me in your own words, does it make sense what we did? Yeah, it makes sense. Absolutely. Describe what we did in your own words. With the neck block? Yeah, and with the bite stuff. And with the bite stuff. I'm not going to use the correct words, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. So basically, yesterday with the, night, with the uh, adjusting of the teeth, uh, essentially what that did was it brought the sensitivity from like a 9 down to a 7. With the cold swish. With the I cold swish, so. correct. And then today we did neck blocks, which essentially blocked the nerves uh, in a certain portion of the front portion of my neck, I believe. Upper C spine, Upper C2, C3. C2, C3. To see if with that, the cold test went down significantly. It went down probably 10% from yep. a 7 to a 6 or so. Mm -hmm. So I'd say about 10% maybe coming from the sympathetic, which is what we tested today. Mm -hmm. um, and also, theoretically, there is some sympathetic inputs coming from when we adjusted bites, too. Mm -hmm. So but it's mostly trigeminal. Mm -hmm. So most of your 20 or so, maybe 30% of your beaker of pain is coming from trigeminal input, mm -hmm. and 10 to 15 or something like that's coming from sympathetic and cervical. Mm, okay. And then there could be other things going on in there that we can't track. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we're just a little bit closer to figuring out what the hell's wrong. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay, all right. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. Glad Thank you did you. it. Yeah. You recommend it or? Yeah, I mean, can't it, you, you can't hurt, you know, experimenting to fi like find out what could be going on with your body, you know? Yeah, I never feel like anything's a waste. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thank you very much. Of course. Thank you.